Now we know that our brains are quite plastic and can be modified throughout our lives. Even after our brains have been fully developed, we can grow new brain cells. This is the basis of neuroplasticity and forming new memories. Our genes only lay out potentials and vulnerabilities, but they do not dictate our behavior, our thoughts or our emotions. They can even be turned off and on with our behavior. So now, when we know this, we can modify and rewire our brains in a certain and desired direction in order to lead a more productive, efficient and joyful lives. The new discoveries in neuroscience shed light on how you can maximize your potential and minimize your vulnerabilities. Learning to be calm means feeling less tense, less anxious and less easily stressed. There are parts of your brain, like amygdala, that when not tamed tend to overreact and add to needless tension, anxiety and stress. The bottom line is this. How you train yourself to think, feel and behave on a regular basis will rewire your brain and allow you to be calm and focused. At the forefront of the frontal lobe, the prefrontal cortex, or PFC, gives us many of our most complex cognitive, behavioral and emotional capacities. The PFC enables you to develop and act on a moral system because it allows you to set aside your needs and reflect on the needs of others. If your PFC is damaged, you're likely to engage in antisocial and impulsive behaviors or not engage in any purposeful behavior at all. Now that you have the better idea of how the brain works, let's focus on a method of rewiring the brain that involves the following four steps. Focus, effort, effortlessness and determination. To help you remember these steps, we will use the acronym FEED, F-E-E-D, as in feeding your brain. Now let's examine each step in detail. Focus. You need to pay attention to the situation, the new behavior or the memory that you want to repeat or remember. Attention activates your frontal lobes, which ensure that other parts of the brain are also engaged. You may think of this step as the alert function. You can't rewire your brain without opening the gate or initiating the change. Focus gets the ball rolling. Attention and frontal lobes play important roles in neuroplasticity. Think of the PFC as the brain's brain. It helps to direct the resources to what is important. Focus allows you to pay attention to what's happening here and now and this starts the process of neuroplasticity. Effort shifts your attention from perception to action. Making a conscious and focused effort activates your brain to create new synaptic connections. When you begin to make an effort, your brain uses a lot of glucose to learn something new. After a new behavior, thought or feeling has been established, it takes less energy to keep it going. It's like learning a new tennis swing or how to say hello in a new language. In the beginning, it takes effort, focus and more energy in your brain, but after you make the swing or say hello enough times, it becomes effortless. Thus, to rewire your brain, you have to stay with the new behavior long enough to make it become fairly automatic. In time, practice will make it effortless. Your brain won't have to work as hard once you reach this level. Determination. The final step in feeding your brain is staying in practice. Do the activity again and again. Being determined in this way doesn't need to be tiring and painful. If you practice the other three steps in feeding your brain, by the time you get to this one it should come easily. This is because effortlessness precedes it. Thus, determination simply means that you stay in practice. By being determined, you'll complete the feeding process to rewire your brain. 
You can now learn to calm down in the face of stress and boost your mood when you're down. You can also learn to improve your memory, have better relationships and get a good night's sleep, all of which rewire your brain and thus enable you to be calmer and feel more positive. Now, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thank you and see you next time.